Hey guys, welcome back to another session here on Tears and Wheat. Um, Tears and Wheat Tarot. Goodness. My energy feels like super sapped. I took a little um, meditation and meditation led me into a 20, 30 minute nap. And you know, have you ever been asleep and it just makes you feel more tired than what you did when you lay down? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I was, I was at. Um, and then I kind of checked around and see what was going on and I noticed, uh, we went back, we lost a soul member, a soul family member, um, somebody obviously didn't like the messages I was bringing, so they decided to, um, Unjoin, and that's okay because we're not going to be for everybody. That's what the spirit told me, and so it just really um, felt like, yeah, you know, spirit was saying, you know, make sure you hold on to that knowingness that you are not for everybody. We were talking before I had a message about, uh, I think it was yesterday, so go back and look at those messages if you're feeling so inclined to. Uh, go back and look where it was talking about somebody having a weird and unique gift and being in between planes right so uh you're not always going to have people who get you in in your space and that's okay because you're not for everybody and that's what makes you a niche you being you is the niche and that's totally fine so i had a reminder in that and yeah, I am completely happy because I hope that person finds the space that resonates with them. And who knows, they, they may come back and visit us again and I'm completely open to that. I'm, I'm in and out as, as you feel free, so that's awesome. So what is blooming? Um, I feel that, so what's growing? This channel is definitely growing. Uh, my connection to you all is growing. Uh, my ability to bring messages to you all is growing. Um, I definitely feel that the messages are helping people heal, helping me heal, definitely. You know, in this space, being able to share with you all helps uh, me fully accept my full self, rise above, keep my vibrations high. I recognize that I too am an old soul, right? And uh, I probably have been in a similar walk, you know, along with you all for uh, lifetimes as well. You know, I, I definitely don't have any issues with testifying of the glory of the Lord. You guys hear me that all the time, you know. <laughs> just of confirming and affirming you know who the most high God is and that if the most high God has called you to do a thing you know then stand in your truth because there will be a testimony in that I do believe um, especially when it's going to help you keep your light for you to shine bright and then shining your light you know that confidence that keeping that spirit to me that's the stuff that allows you to keep things manifesting and to live better allowing you to release things and you know go deep within yourself for growth right and know that your abundance your blessing is coming soon and, you know, the people who are for you are coming soon. Those who are um, going to be committed and devoted with, to you are coming soon. So great messages for uh, other me's, other selves that are out here in the field. Um, I'm experiencing that. Can't believe that I am the only person that is feeling um, that type of energy. Uh, so yeah, just want to share with you all, that's my testimony, um, right now, and I know that the Most High God, you know, is 
dealt with my little spirit and just reminded me, you're not going to be for everybody. But that doesn't mean that you're not approved to do what it is that you're doing or what you are called to do. Of course, you know, everything in its time and everything in its season. Thank you, spirit. And I still feel the end. Did you want that? No. I'm trying to feel the energy of these cards here. My energy is low. Spirit says yes. We put out some messages today. Yes. And we probably need to recharge. Yeah. But um, we have enough in us to serve. Is there anything left in this deck that you would like? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, guys, again, pretty much like I, I just said, and, I, and I'm going to have to say this because before we even look at these cards, we looked at my personal deck. We talked about the 222, which is the angel number for shine your light, confidence, spirit of light. We looked at um, shine your light, keep your light was another card. Testify glory of the Lord. And just to pull them back out right off of my deck. To show you, right, what we talked about, these ones, then we just pulled Pillar of Light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. Pillar of Light, synchronistic to you, and then the Age of Light, you've been training this for this for lifetimes. Not only did we say, talk about feeling of being an old soul, right, keeping your light, shining your light, using your light to generate confidence, right, and then understanding an uh, old soul, you've been doing this for lifetimes, right, so you've been training for this, you have developed a confidence in self and knowing that you are uh, in position and ready to do whatever it is that the Most High God has called you to do, right, um, Yeah, the Most High God has approved you. Yeah, balance, right? We saw that earlier. I saw time to go again. So time to move, take action, start, lead. Most High God says, if you move, I will support you. All the resources that you need will be in place. The people that are for you will be there. And this is not going to be an overnight uh, success type of thing. This is going to be grown, uh, organic. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be giving uh, what it needs. And the people that will come along with you will know. Uh, and you'll be a trusted advisor. Ooh, that's what I was trying to get to. Trusted advisor. Yeah. You, people will know because they've grown with you. And, uh, yeah, people are always, I know for, in this society, I've seen it, where people get discouraged when things just don't shoot off and rock it off. I think that's why I'm so fierce about delivering as many messages as I can on a daily basis. Because I know it's going to take hard work and dedication and commitment and devotion uh, for us to push these messages out. Come on, guys. We know for sure that YouTube algorithm is a thing, that there's racism in the algorithm, that people have talked about things like that. And I don't know if that's something to get me flagged personally. I don't care. But it's something to be said, right? So, uh, in order for me to push things out into the ether and get, the, get it out there, there has to be a level of saturation. So, I'm going to keep pushing out as many messages as I can and pull them out of myself, you know, because I know that I'm not the only person who goes through the things that I experience and I know that I'm an empath and I pick up the things that you guys experience also out in the field, you know, those tears that uh, mimic us, that mirror us, right? It looks just like us. They are clone copies except for in character. You can't tell except for by the fruit that they bear. And in order for us to really 
um, tell the difference. We need to examine the fruit. Not only look at ourselves and the fruit that we're bearing as as we or as fruit bearing entities. Like look at what you're developing, what you're pulling out of self, and see what you can do. Like is is. What's being reflected back to you? What are you developing? What are you producing? And and is that what you're producing a reflection of your highest self and of your heart's the best the good of your heart's desires? Right? The best of your heart's desires. The most high God gives you inspiration even in your desires. Like the earth isn't lush for nothing. We it's okay for us to desire lushness. Right to feel lush, to feel luxurious, but to do that in a way that causes to bring forth the good adds no sorrow to it. Seek ye first the kingdom of the Lord, right? And he will give you the abundance and he will add no sorrow to it. So let's just look at these cards. I always talk about the soulmate being you and yourself, you and God, you and the most high, that closeness, right? In my opinion, people can be great partners, right? You can connect with people on a deep uh, spiritual level, but my soulmate is the most high, right? That is who my soul is connected to. It is mated to. I honestly don't know in my space if I want anyone to be in that space that that level of intimacy outside of the most high because for me personally i have allowed people to uh take step into that place where i'm looking to them to fulfill things that only come from between me and the most high right it's just that intimate space so um i hold that but i wholly recognize and welcome and desire um a close the most intimate spiritual relationship with another physical representation of the most high that can be gifted to me and that would be my life mate my energetic match my my eternal masculine as i call them like i don't necessarily I have said Divine Femme because um, it came under the Divine Femme Oracle and I termed it like that based off the Oracle that was I read from. But not because I look at, um, I say Divine Masculine, Karmic Masculine, all that stuff. I think we are all unique expressions of the Most High and we are all going through a process and we are all in different places in this process. You know, and some of us are tears. Some of us are clones, are copycat shape shifters, right? And not all of us are we. And for us to be able to distinguish what's a tear and what's a we is is significant. You know, you don't always have to put your focus on the tear. That's exactly the purpose of here, right? We're not focusing on what the tear is. You need to recognize it, be able to discern it, and then pour back into self what you need to edify your wheat to become good bread. So jump into this, these cards that I have put out here. Thank you for sitting through my little sh um, testimony. As I said earlier, yin, balance. So we had the pillar of light to back up all this light over here testify shine your light with the angel message the 222 number keep your light all underneath there with the pillar of light supported in the age of light vibration rising you're an oracle you've been training for this for lifetimes again whatever you're doing you're approved to do it you've been practicing doing it for a lifetime it is you know don't let anything or anybody make you feel like you know you're not approved because you are yin right that number two balance you are the yin portion of that energy you might your yang is not out here um but maybe again that one could be god it could be your partner that's missing your soulmate is with the most high you know the yang is the other part of you so if you're a masculine then your yang is going to be feminine if you're a feminine energy then your yang is going to be masculine or take it however it resonates even in same sex couples the energy flow is usually masculine and feminine so don't get 
energy mixed up with gender. You know, I, I don't, we're not talking about that. Again, doing things by the book, Treasure Island. Slow and steady wins the race. Do things by the book. Make sure you're lining your stuff up one thing after another, being intentional. Hold it, you know, it's all a trail. It's lined up because the gift is, is you carry the gift, right? You carry the gift. So do things by the book. The, again, the, this microwave generation of what needs to happen right now is, is not the real between worlds but somewhere between the past and the new and it's okay to be right here on that line experiencing both it could be a little chaotic and anxiety inducing but then that's when you dig back into love and the wisdom of self of self-assuredness you've been doing this for lifetimes you know so it's okay to be in the middle of a transition. Observation or observer. 49, somebody could be born in April. It could be April the 9th. This could be significant for the number of 13, which breaks down to four, um, which is a, a number of uh, stability. Um, pillar type strength but with observ observer I'm really not feeling that I'm feeling like somebody who's keeping their eyes to the sky or somebody who's looking somebody who's watching somebody who is searching you know being diligent let's get the oracle book and just read a little bit deeper into that I'm intrigued observer Observer, perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. I think that's pretty right in line, right? Neutral observation from a distance. You're not going to be for everybody, so you have to be neutral about who accepts you and who doesn't. You know, that's something that I know in starting to do this. Not everybody's going to resonate with every message, and they're not supposed to because every message is not for every person. That's uh, exactly appropriate right and i'm not going to be a reader for every person and that's exactly appropriate right so having that objectivity being unbiased not holding on to anything like the ability to let things come and go and freedom that's what you need i'm sure that eventually i'm going to rub people the wrong way people are going to leave me nasty comments and i'll have to deal with that eventually as well too just like any other person who has been called to step out into a leadership position we've been seeing that in reader in readings if you guys go back through and look at some of those old, older videos somebody else is being called other people not somebody else other people Tons and tons of people, the most high is saying, are being called to step up and lead, right? The vibration of the planet, the vitriol, the negativity, that low, low, low vibrational expressions of love are just, is weighing down so much in the cause of the people who are hurting, who are suffering, the cause of suffering, the relief of suffering, for comfort and counsel, for saving, for rescuing is so heavy that there's going to be tons of people who are called to speak up in, in, uh, on the behalf of raising the frequency. We have, have to balance the scale right gotta bring that low heaviness back into a position of balance get back into harmony at least closer to harmony um yeah so there's going to be people who are going to be called to this work and if you're a person who is called to step out and to do this you have to know it's, it's going to get ugly especially with uh 
cancel culture and all that good stuff, right? So get some thick skin. And yeah, because, you know, especially if you're an empathic person, you you don't want to lose anyone. Like the messenger, the most high God, you know, the messenger talked about finding all sheep. We did a reading talking about bringing sheep into the sheepfold, right? You know, the everybody, the the most high wants to find all of his, right? Birthing a new age, birthing new correct creations, dreaming a new world into being. Just was talking about that. Raising that vibration, changing the flame, dreaming a new world into being. Like people want an opportunity to continue to experience life in a positive way, right? And, you know, I think that that is the desire of many people. It's to bring forth something new, a, a higher vibration to uh, raise us. And I do think that that energy is attempting to come about to balance the negativity, right? And I think the Most High is definitely leading this charge. I believe he's spoken to people across the plane in various different ways and the most high the god of your understanding will speak to you in a way that supports you and encourages you calls you to raise your vibration and whatever it is you'll do it because you have come to balance you have come to balance um doing things by the book and understanding that the treasure is in you you have a gift you probably always vibrate between worlds and between planes like always moving in a direction rising up i'm feeling like the, that up so you're always between planes always feeling like a restart like a new three a new foundation but keep your objectivity you know you don't hold on to judgment just be very objective about it everybody's not going to be for you and you're not always going to be for everybody and that is completely okay because you're a niche and that's what makes a niche a niche it's not general right but this is somebody that you're always perfect for you and the most high and if that soulmate your most high has said you are called to do a thing you are called to do a thing i hope this message reaches the person that it is um designed to reach that you are magnetized towards it, that the Most High uses me and my, my vessel, my voice, um, to reach you all, to bring me above, below, to align ourselves with His perfect will. Again, to see and recognize the tears in our wheat field, how we can edify ourselves and dig into our own selves to push ourselves to be better. Stronger wheat so that we can make for good bread. I thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you like this content, please, please, please like the videos, subscribe, and share. Um, so we can push these out to anyone who may need them. Until the next time, I shake.